what's going on you guys it's royal so i have if you if you've already looked at the title then you know um but there's like this real crazy um ancient uh love energy that i feel and i feel like this will answer um you guys' questions when it comes to love, okay? Hey, baby. Okay, it's my daughter. Um, there's like this old connection with your ancestors and a loved one. And excuse my nail, my nail broke. I'm gonna fix them. Um, but this connection is like given the put it put it down for me um it's given the ketsia and silas energy now if anybody watched uh vampire diaries you know that ketsia um was a witch and silas was a witch and they were like supposed to get married and they were supposed to be together xyz right well, he ended up meeting somebody else and ended up being with that person. That's the energy I get. Now, I'm not saying that your ancestors were Ketsy and Silas, obviously. Some of you probably have never watched the show and don't know who that is. What I'm saying is it gives off that energy. And I personally feel like this is why so many of you... Um, not all of you, but many of you um, have met the fate that you have met within your relationships because it's more so like a destiny thing. It's more so like um, a curse that was placed on your particular lineage. Now, this is not a projection onto your lineage. It is an actual reflection of what is going on for those who who are having problems um, in love, okay? Now, at the top of the deck, look what I have here. You see what I'm saying? This person was stifled because they were betrayed, all right? And in my opinion, this person vowed that no one, that particular person, whether it be male or female, um, that they would never have luck in love and neither would their descendants. Um, however, I do believe that some of you are so, 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 so powerful that you've been able to get around this for some of you. However, for other, for others of you, I feel like this is where you're stuck and you don't know why you're stuck um, in this place with your relationships. Like you haven't been able to make sense of it. You see what I'm saying? Like you're like, what is going on? Why am I? Why do my relationships? You know, why is it always this type of energy when it comes to my relationships? Right? I'm stifled on this. I didn't do anything. I wasn't the person who. Um, you know who caused the problem i wasn't the person who did anything to anyone why am i meeting this particular fate and that is because of what was broken in the past all right look at this they could have did some type of hand casting ritual they could have been getting ready to get married or anything and that promise was broken look how these cups are upside down here one person kept their end of the deal, but the other person didn't. You see what I'm saying? And this could be for male or female. All right. That promise was broken in the past. All right. Now, what I do see here is the justice. Justice is coming in. And I believe justice is coming in because you are the one in your bloodline to fix this conflict, to fix this chaos. That's just what I get here. You get what I'm saying? Two of Pentacles. Now, you're going to have some decisions that you're going to have to make. And they're not going to be 
easy. However, this is something that's on you to fix. Now, why is it on you? Well, you're the one in your family that is supposed to break these generational curses, especially where relationships are concerned. You see what I'm saying? You are the one to cut all of that down, to cut it all out so new beautiful things can grow. You know, you have to get rid of all those those things that, you know, are blocking you guys. Ultimately, you know, there's there's a lot of things that um, and obviously it's not your fault. And I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. I'm not even blaming the person who was betrayed, because if you guys know the story of Ketia and Silas, Ketia was betrayed. OK, were her methods wrong? I wouldn't agree with her methods. You feel me? I wouldn't agree with the methods at all because they were, in my opinion, you know, not the right choice. However, I can't tell her what to do. I can't tell her how to feel. And that's the same way um, with this situation, with this energy and what is the giving. All right. This person. Yeah, this person was very good to them. You know. And it just fell out of my hand. Why? I don't know. She was very, he was very good to them. This is two-sided. There are two eyes here. This involves a man and a woman. Um, in some cases, a man was betrayed. In some cases, a woman was betrayed. If any of this resonates with you, let me know. You know, and they they went all out. They went straight chariot mode. You know what I'm saying? They would have literally... You know how they say ride or die? Like they were they were definitely a ride or die, you know, person, but they were done so wrong and it destroyed them. It pulled down their strength. They were a very strong person. And it destroyed them ultimately and made them feel like some type of way. You know? Like that's what I get here, guys. Now for you. I feel like there are going to be things that you're going to have to do to get you and your um and your descendants cuz you're you you guys have children or you're going to have children and but there are things that you have to do too to get this uh situated and fixed so this is no longer a problem for you guys right germination prevents future issues by just dressing root causes guys i can't make this up i cannot make this up i cannot make this up at all like all right yes contract all right these this is something that's karmic okay now for some of you you're coming into your karmic partner all right, you you're meeting this person. You know, you guys have a very deep bond. You guys have been together in multiple lives. And for some of you, maybe what I'm telling you now was your past life. Maybe you were betrayed or you were the betrayer. And because you guys have this contract, because you guys have this karmic bond, because you guys are learning from life lessons, you know, um Look, relationship strain caused by codependency and conflict, whatever that may be, you guys are going to fix that now. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, all right? This one says, I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I'm cutting the strings and taking back my life. This could be you. You have cut, you, you could have cut off everybody to fix this connection to fix this relationship to fortify this bond because there could have been other people getting in the way look at this you are committed commitment asking the big question for some of you you are literally with the person you're supposed to be with distant twin flame fuels your spiritual journey and inner growth some of you are dreaming about this person 
some of you know that when you find them you're going to be highly committed to them for some of you this is your second chance especially if you reincarnated for some of you you're going to do the right thing this time you know you've learned you've learned from your old lesson some of you have unseen foes ready to be unleashed a uh, quiet quietly a silent strike revealing the arsenal of the unseen some of you some of you already know everything i've been telling you and this is not going to make sense for everyone all right this is definitely not going to make sense for everyone but for some it's going to make sense they've been in this position all right some of you 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 guys can read the card you know some of you have been in that position already and you're like when is it my turn when is it my shot when are when are things going to get better they're about to get better for you sooner than you um sooner than you know but there's something that you have to do first there's something that uh has to be fixed first this is confirming what i was saying about this person this man this woman you know they they had a lot going on, you know, they had a lot going on and didn't let this person know how they felt. All right. Um, they, they made me believe our connection wasn't real and that it wasn't, it was just a waste of time. I know that this was untrue. Destiny had a different plan for us. All right. I can't make this up. Somebody could have destiny swapped with you guys. All right. Whoever did this in the past, whoever did this in the present, whoever's trying to do this in the future, because this can be a past, present or future reading. All right, guys. So take what resonates. Leave what does not resonate at all. If you are into reincarnation, if you vibe with this, um, definitely let me know because I've been feeling this energy like really, really strong and I just want to bring you guys clarity, whatever I can do to help you guys in your life. I'm definitely, um, gonna do it. Top of the deck gossip, gossip, unfound allegations, damage, reputations, and trust whispers, of gossip cause confusion and spread misinformation this could be this could be for some of you for real like and like i say it's not a projection it's only a reflection reflection to give clarity um to those who are seeking information in their love life all right guys i love you peace love and abundance see you in the next one